all right so now let's understand some of the accelerometer specifications so let's understand about the accelerometer sensitivity from this table okay so every accelerometer sensor uh, it doesn't matter who manufactures it so they will provide the accelerometer sensitivity numbers okay for you to understand how exactly you can use accelerometer into different applications to uh, tune your sensitivity to uh, you know different kinds of applications so here also the specification tell us about the sensitivity okay so sensitivity you can vary by choosing different kinds of uh, full scale ranges of the accelerometer sensor here you can see that uh, this accelerometer offers us four different full scale ranges so here let's take this case okay uh, if you select this full scale range so then the sensor can measure up to plus or minus 2g of acceleration that's it okay suppose if you are using this sensor in uh, in a situation or in an application which is to measure the high impact or higher vibrations then you should not keep or program your accelerometer into uh, this range because this can only go from 0 to plus or minus 2g okay so it can only measure uh, the g values within 2 okay so this can be helpful uh, when you need more sensitive uh, readings okay for example let's say you have uh, an application where you want to measure a slight vibration okay or very slight angle tilt etc then it is better to choose okay full scale range as small as possible so that you can get better resolution okay but uh, if you want to use the sensor in a very dynamic system like rockets or your quadcopters or you know in the aircraft systems etc then the system produces lots of vibrations okay and uh, you should expect more g values there right so then okay it is better to choose other full scale ranges okay for example if i select this then the accelerometer can give the acceleration g values up to uh 16g okay up to 16g of readings are possible of course you will lose the sensitivity here okay your application will not be more sensitive to small vibrations or small angle tilt etc all right so now let's say i program my accelerometer to operate in the full scale range zero so that means it can read up to zero to plus or minus 2g okay now this table also says that uh, the output is in two's complement format of type 16 bits the output will be 16 bits in two's complement format okay so that means 1 plus 15 right so this bit used to indicate the sign okay so that means only 15 bits are left for the data okay so the range is 2 to the power 15 right so the output can swing between uh, plus or minus 32,768, right? So this is the maximum reading that can be produced by the sensor, okay? And this table here says that if you are operating in uh, uh, the full scale option zero, then output will be 16,384, okay? This is just a number, okay, for every G that makes sense isn't it because i have selected this range so in this range it can go from 0 to plus or minus 2g okay and uh, the maximum value the sensor can produce is this much okay that means this much value for 2g right so for 1g how much so this value okay divided by 2 right so you had to divide this value by 2 isn't it so that gives us this value right 16 3 84 right so that makes sense right because for every g of acceleration the output produced is 16 384 okay so for 2g it produces this much okay so when the accelerometer is in full scale 
option zero okay okay so now let's say i select the full scale range as three okay this one so the output can go from zero to plus or minus 16 g right so the range is high for every g so here you have to look at here this is the reading that is 2048 is the reading okay for every g okay so that makes sense so if you take 2048 and if you multiply by 16 you get the bigger number the higher bound value that is 768 right so that makes sense for every g the sensor will produce 2048 now let's say that our sensor is lying on the table so this is a z axis and this is a z axis and y axis and this is a x axis okay so let's say that sensor is completely at rest on the table okay so now when the sensor is uh, in rest okay there will be one force uh, which will be acting on the sensor as you know that is the gravity okay and the gravity uh, is uh, 9.8 uh, meter per second square okay uh, meter per second square okay and we consider this as 1g so now let's say the sensor is in the full scale range 3 okay so let's say we have chosen full scale uh, range is equal to 3 okay so that means uh, I have selected this so now if I measure the reading at Z axis then I should be measuring 2048 okay so if I connect my uh, MPU to my microcontroller and if I measure the reading at Z axis then it should be 2048 okay because this document says that per G okay the value is 2048 and the reading at y must be zero and the reading at x must be zero okay so because no force is acting on y or x axis okay suppose the full scale selection is uh, this one let's say one then when the sensor is at rest like this uh, the z axis reading must be 8192 okay so this you can experiment and you can find out okay so you can compare the value which you get from experiment with this values mentioned in the data sheet okay it should match it won't match exactly but it should be close to these values okay so that's about the accelerometer full scale selection so now let's move to the gyroscope full scale selection